I tell you, doesn't happen overnight. It takes a lot of hard work and dedication, not to toot my own horn, but some local middle schoolers are getting a head start in the industry. Tyra Majors has more. Two to five years. That's the amount of time it takes for the average broadcast journalist to get their feet into the first door of their career. Good morning, Stern Sharks, and welcome to the Shark Tank. However, the students at Stern Middle School have already gotten a head start. It's not your average elective. The 6th through 8th grade class records a live news broadcast every morning, sharing the latest news around school with the rest of campus. I help run the show and make sure the show runs smooth, make sure there's no mistakes. There's many jobs, as you can see. It's a really good experience to get hands-on. It has taught me a lot about technology. To enroll into the class, the students had to fill out an application saying why they were a good fit for the job. Nowadays, the job market is so, so, so vast in the opportunities that kids have. and. Even when I was in school, we did not have t kinds of opportunities to learn how to use media and like all the new technology that was coming out at the time. But these students do, and they are taking full advantage of it. What's your favorite part about this? Being anchor because I get to talk and I love talking, and it's sometimes very, very, very hard to stop me when I'm talking. <laughs> and talking is a part of the job. The students must communicate with each other every day to make sure they get the job right. It gives me a sense of pride to see what we're doing to be shown everywhere and to have people watch it. Under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. From what these students are doing, I'd say the future of news is looking bright. Tyra Majors, Eyewitness News. I love that story, Erin. It is so inspiring to see those kids.